tough match, the only one to go into overtime. What are you thinking getting into tiebreakers? Um, well, at our school, we train to win in overtime, always. So, I mean, it was kind of like normal. It wasn't like a surprise, like, oh crap, we win double overtime, something bad's gonna happen. No, was, we train like that every day. Seemed like you guys were pretty evenly matched, both really good at kind of staying out of trouble. Did, did you have a feeling as the match wore on, there was a good chance you guys might go more than just the six minutes? Yeah, I mean, we were kind of, we were kind of like the same person, like, I mean, he does some stuff better, I do some stuff better. But I mean, it was kind of stalemate-ish on our feet. And so I put him up in the third because I wanted to try to get a takedown, but I needed to move him a little more. Uh, did you know kind of what was at stake too? You guys had a pretty big lead and you, you had to feel like if you could come out on top that, that it was going to go a long yeah, way. I, mean, I, wasn't, I wasn't worried this. about this call. I was just worried more of going out and competing. Because, I mean, if I try my hardest and I lose, then I lose. But if I try my hardest and win, then it's just a good day. Yeah, and it more or less did wrap it up for you guys too. Tylen went out and finished it. Uh, did you have a message for him at all, or were you too tired at that point? Oh no, I, <laughs> I, he's the one who I've been practicing with like this week. Because I mean, I'm a 220 pounder, but you know, he's obviously a little bigger than me. But yeah, he's he, he's good. This is a special night for you guys from Kansas to, oh, yeah, to win I mean, it. It looked like the crowd really got behind it there. Yeah, I, I heard the last time we won was 2008, so it's good to be a part of this.